Hey, it's Johnny Jett, and this is my 39 travel questions. And today we have Kelly Edwards, who was called by Condé Nast Travel Magazine as one of the most powerful women in travel. And I agree. Also, she's an award-winning travel expert, journalist, and television host. She hosted um, Mysterious Islands on the Travel Channel. And she's always got projects coming up. And I know you got something in the works. I know you don't even have to tell me about it. So, Kelly, welcome to the show. And first of all, where can people find you? You can find me at Kelly Set Go, K E L L E E S E T O, like Ready Set Go. Um, you can also find me on my new podcast for Travel and Leisure Magazine. It's called Let's Go Together. Wherever you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, I just launched June 10th. And so we've got 12 episodes talking to people around the world about diversity and inclusion in travel. Great. And if you're not a subscriber of mine, please subscribe here. Also my podcast and my website, johnnyjet.com. But Kelly, where did you grow up? I'm originally from the South side of Chicago and in San Bernardino, California. And by the way, in case you watched the video we just shot before this, because we were originally going to do the 39 travel questions and we, we dove deep into her being a pilot. We also dove deep into, you know, the, the current situation in America with the racism. So if you haven't watched that, I, I, I highly recommend watching that video first and then um, getting to know Kelly here or vice versa. And so you, you grew up in South Side Chicago and then you grew up in San Bernardino and you live in LA now. Yes, I'm in sunny Los Angeles, California. <laughs> and you went to school in LA? I went to Cal State Fullerton um, in Orange County. Orange County, yeah, Fullerton. And you studied? Broadcast journalism. All right. I want to give you the news. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, how many, are you ready to fly again, by the way, commercially with the quarantine going on right now? Or would you get on a plane tomorrow? I, I get on a plane. I'm going to have, uh, you probably won't see an ounce of me, but maybe, maybe my eyeballs, my glasses, but I will have on the mask. I will have on the gloves. Uh, I'll be decked out. And I never really liked anyone in the middle seat anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still going to find people in the middle seat unless you're flying Delta or JetBlue. Because the other ones, although they pretend they're blocking the middle seats, they're really not. Ducky, ducky. ducky so be ducky. careful on that. Don't let them sucker you. Um, but you are, we just talked in the last um, podcast, you, you, you are flying now. You're a licensed pilot. Yes, I am a multi-rated licensed pilot. I have um, both my uh, private pilot's license and I also have my seaplane rating. So I can land on water now too. <laughs> and how many miles do you think you've flown actually as a pilot or as a uh, passenger? Well, as a pilot, I have no idea, but I definitely have somewhere in the likes of almost a thousand hours, which is oh, a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> Especially for a private pilot. And then as far as uh, commercially, last year alone, I flew 104,000 miles commercially. So four times around the world, it said. Thanks, Google. <laughs> yeah. And which, um, do you prefer one airline? Are you one alliance or... Well, I'll just be honest. I definitely am a Delta girl, and I uh, also have a pretty high status on American. I, I like where my status makes me comfortable. I'll be honest. I want to get in the lounge. I want to have a glass of champagne and a snack. You know, that food in the lounge is different than the food on the airplane. So, uh, <laughs> agreed. Although the lounges these days are a little bit different than they were uh, pre-COVID, uh, Delta is the best run airline in the U.S. I do have elite status on American. I'm executive platinum and I do love my free upgrades and I, and I normally do get for upgraded for free because I pick the right days and times I'll fly on a Saturday when no business traveler is flying and I'll usually get upgraded, but um, that's a whole nother story. So how many countries have you been to? I have been at this point, it's over 60. So I think last time I counted, it was around 64. Wow. Uh, and how many continents? Five. Five. So you're missing, uh, well, you said you went to Australia in the last one. So are you missing Antarctica? Sure. And you and said you went to, so are you either missing Asia or Africa? Oh, wait a minute. I'm only missing one in Antarctica. That's in the six. All right. All right. I was sitting there going, I, I, I know you went to a few of the other ones. So. Yeah. Right. Just, like most people. Good. 
And for Kelly's earliest travel memory, see the previous video because we dove deep into that. Uh, what's your favorite American city? Chicago, Illinois. How about internationally? Time's up. Dang, that's tough. Which one? I said, whoa, that's tough. How about, oh. how about each continent or, or whatever? Okay, well, I, I'm, I love Italy. I, okay. I, I, so I Rome love. or Florence, Venice? Florence is beautiful. It has that old school like storybook charm. I'm I love Italian. Oh, yeah, we love us some Italian men. You guys are making. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to make a comment, okay? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, friendliest people in the world. Thai. Thailand? Yes, the Thais. Okay. I, I got my volume is down a little bit. Country with the meanest immigration officers. Oh, man. Nowhere? Doesn't have to be. I haven't experienced that. Okay, good. I like to hear it. Uh, is there any place you have no desire to go to? No, everywhere. Wow. Yeah. You're a true traveler. Yes, I'm explorer. Favorite U.S. airport, I guess we'll say commercially and privately. Sure. Favorite U.S. airport would have to be, I like JFK. Uh, you said JFK? Yeah. No one's ever said JFK. It's the, listen, at the end of the day, it's the gateway to the world for me. That's true. I love it. I, 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 you got to love that in the plane spotting. For sure. For getting sure. in and out of JFK is not always the most no. fun. I know I'm going somewhere good when I'm leaving out of there. <laughs> General <laughs> Airport, I would have to say Van Nuys Airport. It's where I learned to fly. Okay, I've never been to Van Nuys Airport. Um, how about International Airport? Singapore. Everyone says Singapore, including me. It's unreal. You can't beat it. I mean, if you haven't been to Singapore, Changi, you guys got to go. <laughs> um, favorite airport lounge? Centurion in Miami. And they just expanded it um, yeah. not, not too long ago. And they do have the really good food there. Oh, yeah. it used to be so crowded. But anyway, <laughs> um, what's the longest flight you've ever taken? Oh, my gosh. Going to Broome, Australia. You've been to Broome, huh? So you got to fly to Sydney, then to a Perth, or Sydney to Perth, Perth to Broome. Wow. That was the longest days of my life. It was yeah, I... over twenty something hours. But it's worth it, though, right? Adventures like I've never had. Yeah, I, I've never been to Broome. I've been, you know, I've been to oh, northern, awesome. northern Territory. I've been, to, uh, you know, yeah. South Australia, Queensland. Most of the have been to Broome. I'm going to have to go. My sisters used to live in Perth and I never, and I never went. Oh. I was too young. Uh, favorite aircraft type, commercial and private. I like the Dreamliner. Uh, private Icon A5, amphibious aircraft. I never even heard of that. Sweet. I got, I'm going to check it out after this. I'm going to, actually, I might even put a link in the blog post I make about this video so uh, people can check it out as well. Um, have you ever sat next to any celebrities? Oh, yeah. Um, I sat next to, um, I think his name is maybe Bing Mortison. What's the guy who- The Danish guy. He, he was in Green Book. Yes. Yeah. I sat next to him. Nice I, guy? Uh-huh. Yeah. He was pretty quiet. Okay. He's Danish. I'm, and I'm also, I'm part, Dan I'm part Danish as well. Yeah, I think he was just kind of shocked. It was one of those first class situations. It's like he probably didn't want anyone around him because people were going to start talking to him. You know how that goes. Um, I've sat next to Anthony Anderson. Um, you know, I saw your Instagram post with him. Yeah, yeah. He seems like a nice guy. Funny. Yeah. Um, awesome. Um, what's your drink of choice in the air or on the ground? I'm a champagne girl. Are you? I, I love uh, Vouv. Don't tell anyone. I don't want to be a little bougie, but <laughs> <laughs> and, on the, and on the ground, I love a glass of Bailey's. Bailey's on the rocks. Okay. What's the craziest thing you've ever eaten? Crickets. And is that in LA, Santa Monica Airport? Hey. <laughs> That's where I ate them too. Yes. Exactly. I think it's called Typhoon. Is it still there, by the way? 
they shut down. Too many crickets. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite restaurant in the world? In the world. Wow. How about in LA? Oh, in LA. I love the catch. It's really good. Okay. I love Is that Santa Monica? It's um it's in uh West Hollywood. Okay. But I also really love a small restaurant called Cade Sol. It is Italian and they have the best branzino I've tasted in my life. I'm not a fish guy, but my wife loves branzino, so does my dad. Okay. So I might also, have to go check it out. Moon Shadows in Malibu, they have the best cod. Okay, I've been there a long time ago. Yeah. Um, favorite hotel? Favorite hotel would have to be Johnny! <laughs> best hotel view? I, this is a problem when you've been so many places. You can't I know, I know. You know what? You can always change your answers in the blog post. I'll send you my blog post for you to edit. <laughs> I think one of the coolest places I've stayed was, it was in Indonesia and in, um, in Sulawesi. And I'll send you the, the name of that. Okay, cool. I, I, listen, I can't remember where I stayed a month ago. Well, actually, I didn't stay anywhere a month ago because I've been in my house. But I do uh, like the Foxy Hotels, that, that chain. It's really cute and quaint and fun. You know what? So tiny. You're, you're much younger than me. I don't like the, I don't like, you know, no offense to Marriott because they own Moxie, but they're just too small. The walls are too thin. But anyway. Uh, I'm getting old. You know, I, I need a little more space. I got two kids. I need space. I mean, I like a good Four Seasons, too. Let's not get it twisted. <laughs> hey, for sure. And I like Airbnbs, too, to uh, rent, a, rent a house. Um, which travel, which credit card do you use when you travel? My American Express Platinum. Me, too. That's why I like the Centurion Lounge. Works. Yep. Um, favorite island? Favorite island. And this so, woman has done a show called Mysterious Island. So this should be a good answer. Yes. My favorite island is a tie between two. Sapelo Island in Georgia and Nikolsky in Alaska. What's the first one called? Sapelo Island, right off the coast of Georgia. How do you spell that? S-A-P-E-L-O. Okay. I'm going to look that up. By Hilton Head. Everyone knows Hilton Head. Most yeah, I've been to Hilton Head. Yeah. Okay. Favorite beach? Malibu. Zuma Beach in Malibu. You don't mess around, do you? No. Um, best place for adventure travel? Oh. Has to be New Zealand, Borneo, mm -hmm. and Alaska. You know, I asked some people what's the most adventurous activity they've ever done, and I'm afraid to ask you because, you first of all, you fly Cessnas so, and other planes. I think the most adventurous travel that I have done was in Tana Taraja in uh, Sulawesi, Indonesia. And that was culturally adventurous because they keep the family members of the deceased in their home until they can afford a 100,000 US dollar funeral. Are so, you joking? $100,000 for a funeral? Yes, it and is. to keep the body in the house? So they can afford it. So what I've covered was a body that was in the home for six months and met with the family that had their uncle in the house for three years. And do they wrap it or do they like weekend yeah. at Bernie's? Yeah, there's definitely, <laughs> there is a, mum a mummification process, but they, their whole body is exposed. Um, they have a tradition called Rambu Solo where every year they remove the bodies from the caskets clean the bodies, dress them, and parade them around. They consider that their family members are still alive until they have this ceremony. So they go in and feed three meals a day, uh, bring water, cigarettes, um, money. It's, if you've never but heard- Does it, it smell? Didn't smell like anything. It's, it's very well preserved. Did you sleep there? The, oh, within the community? No, did you, sleep, did you sleep in the person's house? I mean, it was like a real local- person's house yeah okay, good because i was like a hundred thousand dollars i'm in the wrong business i know but the, you know what they it's a it's a very community oriented thing and they build from around one home an entire village they feed up to a thousand people you you'll have to you have to google it it's called uh, rambu solo in tana taraja in indonesia I, i'm gonna you're gonna have to write that down for me because 
Will do. Can't even pronounce it, let alone spell it. Um, favorite travel movie? Favorite travel movie? Uh, Brian, Eat, Pray, Love. I was going to say, don't even say Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I that's okay. I, listen, I'm only joking. How about this? Indiana Jones, anything he did, because he was always in a jungle, somewhere crazy, exploring. And so that did it for me. That's why I love exploration is because of Indiana Jones. That's awesome. And by the way, have you ever met Harrison Ford since he's a private pilot and flying around LA? I am looking for him. I've had, I, I'm like two people removed. I'm working on it. W would you fly with him? I absolutely would. With him as a pilot? I would because I'm also a pilot. So if anything goes awry, I'll be there to Okay. Get it. Well, if I ever get a chance to go up with him, I'm going with you because, you know, he's had a couple of bad experiences lately. Yeah. That's okay. That's why you need, I want to go. I, I would get in as a pilot as well. All right. Well, tr tr if you ever do, try and call me up and say, hey, meet me at the airport. Gotcha. Meet us at the airport. Say less. <laughs> um, favorite travel show besides Mysterious Island? Sure. Of course, I, like everyone else, Anthony Bourdain. Love, love, love. love the treasure of anthony bourdain agreed yep it's seriously and i love the approach and the friendliness of samantha brown i knew that was coming too he is she was the only woman i had ever seen in this space and we have a very great relationship she's super sweet i but think I, I was there the time you first met her gosh it was at our party i, I yes i, I love remember, her. i remember she's very sweet and I'm trying to get her on my show. Oh, I'm sure she'll do it. I'll, I'll call her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite travel book? Favorite? Oh, um, The Alchemist. My wife read that. I did not. Um, any favorite travel bloggers or newsletters that you sign up to or people you follow that you think other people should follow? Yeah, I really love... Um, Gloria Antamo, known as Glow Graphics, uh, she is very enlightening in her posts and exposes us to all different facets of the world. So I, I, I really love the writing that she does and the just bluntness of every, the things that she shares in her experiences. Good. I follow her. Um, worst travel moment? Oh, man. Uh, I was in Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, I, you know, they're really friendly with offering tea and coffee, but one gentleman was mad because I didn't want to go on a date with him. I think he took my friendliness and accepting his coffee at his carpet store as a date. And so that didn't end very well at all. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some coffee. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the part when you're a friendly person, people don't always know how to take that the way right. uh most embarrassing travel moment i always get embarrassed if my bag is overweight i should know better i'm an expert you know hey. what do you mean it's 56 pounds <laughs> you know? well that's a good thing about having status because they you know you get yes, to for yeah. sure that's <laughs> the best part one of the best parts besides getting upgraded uh just a few more questions uh what's your dream destination my dream destination is antarctica you know, I guess that's one of mine, although I'm still skeptical about doing that Drake passage or even flying over there. It's so over remote. Um, but listen, you're the adventurous one. Uh, what's, the, what's the most important thing that travel has taught you? The most important thing that travel has taught me is to appreciate what I have and the privilege that I do have. It's taught me that we're more alike than we're different. And to always keep that in mind and to be empathetic to people and their culture and respect their culture, to put aside my Western standards um, and leave that at the, at the airport stateside. Because when I venture into a new place, it's a, new, it's a new place, it's a new game, new rules, and a new aspect. Yeah, I like it. Um, my last question, before I ask you your best travel tip, where can people find you again? You can find me at Kelly Set Go and www.kellysetgo.com. Kelly with two E's. <laughs>
And I'm Johnny Jet with one T. I'm not related to Joan. And you please subscribe to this podcast, this uh, YouTube channel, and sign up to my free newsletter. And here's the big question. Drum, drum roll, please. Uh, Kelly, what's your best travel tip? Packing cubes. Packing you, cubes. Listen, you can take months worth of clothing in a carry-on suitcase if you get the right packing cubes for organization. You know what? You're right. I don't do it. My wife does. And that's why her suitcase is so much more organized than mine. Uh, listen to this woman. Follow her. Kelly, thank you so much for being on my show. And um, if you missed the first segment of this, make sure you find it, okay? See you guys. Kelly, thank you. Thank you.